Hi, it's Heather McLean again. I'm here to talk to you this time about potential customers that you've had at your party. So these are those people who are so active in your party and they're the ones who are commenting on every single book, post about all the books that they love or are saying how they can't make a decision, they don't know which one they want to get, but then the party goes through and you've gotten all these other orders but you haven't gotten an order from that person yet and your hostess has done follow-up or hasn't done follow-up because you never know what your hostesses are actually doing. Um, they, they either have followed up or they haven't followed up and this person still has not placed an order. So what do you do? Do you let them go? Do you say, oh, well, they're not going to order or do you contact them? I'm of the mindset that if someone was that active and that excited about the books, they likely will place an order at some point. So what I'll do is I will contact them via Facebook Messenger because usually that's the only means of contact I have. I don't have their email address because they haven't placed an order. I don't have their phone number again because they haven't placed an order. And I don't even really have them on my friends list because they haven't said they want to host or they haven't been the hostess. So what I'll do is I will contact them. I will send them a, a personal message on Facebook. And then after I send the message, I'm going to tag them in a post on the event page that they were at. So my message is going to say something like, Hi, Amanda. I'm so excited that you were able to attend your friend Sandy's book party. I know that there was a lot of books presented and there's a lot of excitement during the party time, but I wanted to contact you and reach out to you to see if you would be interested in hosting your own party or placing an order to support your friend Sandy. So what I'll do then is if they want to support, I usually do this the last day of a, that a party's open. My parties are usually open, I usually have parties Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, and then I usually keep them open the, until um, Monday night, usually, so that it gives the people enough time to get through the Tuesday and Wednesday people for the Friday payday, and then those Thursday people again have that Friday payday, but it's still kind of more fresh in their minds. That just has been working best for me, so that's the way I've worked mine. You can do it however you want. But anyways, back to this follow-up. So I will send them that message, and then I'll even, in that message, lay a little groundwork about potentially hosting. So I'll say something like, those who participate so well in a, birth, or in a book party um, on Facebook make wonderful hostesses. So I don't know if you'd be interested, but if you would like to host a party with me, I have several dates available in the month of November and December, and I would love to get you on the books so that you can earn the books for free or at a discounted rate. So this usually, if I do it before the party's over, will generate a sale or two uh, for my hostess. But what more often will come from that is somebody will get back to me and they'll say, I need to wait until payday, which is next Tuesday or next Wednesday or whenever payday is to place their order. So what I've done is I've talked to them and I found out why they haven't ordered. So I maybe I'll get a party booked out of it, maybe I won't, but most often when I do this to those people who are really, really active in a party, I do get an order or I get some explanation about why they haven't ordered. Maybe they are, you know, they just have already purchased all the books that they want and they were commenting on the ones that they already own and they already have and they love. So you never know unless you contact. So this usually does um, give me a few more sales. So I always try to do this. I don't contact every single customer this way. I don't contact every single party guest. This is just for those who really seem genuinely enthusiastic, genuinely excited, and genuinely interested in the books. And usually those people are easy to find. They're the ones that have, as we've said before, the red flags that you look for for hosting or red flags you look for for consultants because they're the ones that are so excited and they don't have any way of you know, deciding which books they love more than others and they're commenting to the likes of that. So that's just one way that I follow up with potential customers. Another way I follow up with potential customers, and this is more on a basis of my own. When I send out to my personal friends and family, those who have attended a party of mine in the past and haven't ordered, I'll send them an email or a text message or a Facebook message, whatever I have, and I will let them know about a book that I think that they will love and see if they'd be interested in making that purchase. Now that almost always gets me an order or two. And I usually do this when I'm trying to meet my month-end goals and I haven't made them yet. 
I'll send out a message to them. And I don't do the same people every time. But I know one of my friends, Terry, has ordered multiple books for her children or for her daughter. And she loves them. And I know these new Billy B. Brown adventure books have come out. So I've contacted her already. And I've said, hey, there's some new adventure books that have come out if you'd be interested in getting them for your daughter. So this works uh, more so on those potential customers that are personal family and friends because I can tell them a book that they might be interested in. Someone that I don't know and I don't know their kids, it's a little harder for me to pinpoint what would interest them to, to entice them to order. So these are just a few ways that I follow up with potential customers and I will be back with more information shortly. Thank you.